Hi, I'm Marcus. And I'm Nick. And we are Working Class Nerds. We're the podcast that gives you no information about your favorite information. Today is Thursday, January 10th, 2019. You can find this, Brian is not on Gummy Bears Podcast, on Google Podcast, Buzzsprout, Apple Podcast, and Stitcher. You can find me on Twitter. I am at MarcusB814. And I am at Nick Vern. That's N-I-C-K-V-E-R-N. In this week's episode, we have both a returning guest and a new friend of the show. Well, old friend of the show, but new guest to the show, I should say. New guest to the show. Right. So, new guest to the show. Uh, so, the first of which, we're only 50% sure he's not floating on gummies today. <laughs> but without further ado, we'd like to welcome back to the show, Brian from the Bad Feeling Podcast. hey yo. Uh, <laughs> Hey! Thanks for coming on the show. We no gummy welcome. power today. That's uh, that's not legal in my home state. So. Uh, <laughs> well, we had, to, we had to chuck it in there. Um, also, our new guest, uh, we have fellow AIE officer and, well, con- well, and con- conqueror of all things SOTOR. And Quesh. And Quesh. Uh, welcome, Zen. Zen, thanks hey for coming on the show. So hey, I, how you doing? Oh, thanks so much for coming on the show. So I met Zen at the SOTOR Cantina in New York City. Yep. So I brought Carrie down. Yep. And she's like, I don't really want to do this. I was like, look, we're going to the cantina. Then we'll get something to eat. And then Sunday we'll go shopping. Yeah. So that was like a, it was like 400 bucks. Mm-hmm. It was like a $400 shopping day for me yeah to get her to go to new york but we got to meet zen and she's she loves zen and then she's like i really like the australian accent and i'm like <laughs> oh i can't do anything about that sorry yeah your australian accent's terrible yeah i've heard you try to imitate it no i can't do it at all i say mate every now and again and it just it does it's not yeah. the same yeah so um thank you both for coming on the show uh, to, to start things off, Brian, what have you been doing in the video game world for the past couple of weeks? Uh, I've been, well, I've been doing the slow tour things, of course, with Osis. I've played through the storyline, uh, on both sides as a trader on both sides. Uh, so I like the things that they did there where you kind of sabotage uh, your home team and, uh, and work for the bad guys, which, uh, I thought was interesting. I hope they, I hope they expand on that. And, uh, just kind of slowly been grinding my way through the 252 gear, but, I haven't been super, super obsessed about getting that next tier because uh, it's just, eh, I don't know. It, it's not for me. But um, lately I've been, uh, actually, it's it's been great because my family sort of sleep arrangement has changed. So I have more free time in the evening nice. where I can stay up past when the uh, street lights come out. Uh, so I've got a couple hours pretty much every night of the week where I can just, I just have to find entertain myself, right? So, so Yeah. Like every day, I can I can stay up past uh, past dark. It's delightful. <laughs> wow! Wow! Look at that. Yeah. So I so not all my free time is Swotor time anymore because I still play Swotor, you know, a bunch of times a week. But I've also been playing like the first Mass Effect. I'm I'm it's a bad so RPG. Good. Yeah, I'm 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 a bad gamer because I'd never played it before, right? So I'm playing through the first Mass Effect, and then I'm spending more time just like watching TV and catching up on shows. I'm reading a book. Like with wow. words, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty remarkable. So, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so kind of been getting a little bit back to, I guess, sort of my Star Wars roots. You know, I've been catching up on the uh, on the animated shows, the Resistance, and uh, most Rebels. of the way through, and most of the way through Rebels. Um, I'm really enjoying Resistance, actually. I'm I'm, I'm digging that show. And, and you talked a lot of shit about that show. Me? No, I talk shit about Rebels. Oh, that fine. because it's. I still have the same problems with rebels. Um, but I'm enjoying resistance cause it stays consistent to where it started. Like not to go off on too much of a tangent, but my problem with like clone wars and rebels is you'll have one goofy episode where like Jar Jar bumbles his way into foiling the bad guys. And then you'll have another episode where like four of your favorite clones bite it. And you know, there's some like gnarly shit happens. And then it's just like happy go lucky Yoda time. It's just fucking dumb. So, but resistance has been, has been pretty consistent and it's, you can tell it's targeted towards a little older audience, audience than rebels. So uh, I'm digging that. And I'm, I'm reading one of the star Wars novels, you know, lost stars. So I'm like getting, it's a really good book. Yeah. I'm digging it. I'm digging it for sure. That was such a good book. Like (laughs) I, I read, so I'll Google every now and again, like the best uh, star Wars books. And then there's always like the Canon and legends and the lost stars i i was kind of like i don't know about the journey to the force awakens and like eh. and i well i did the audible and right. it was really good the ending of it is epic 
Awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, now that I just have like general entertainment time, I can sort of branch out outside of SWOTOR. And uh, I'll say one of the, the funnest things I'm doing is seeing things that I recognize from SWOTOR in other properties. So like there's an episode of Clone Wars where they go to Ilum, which oh. I saw Ilum first in SWOTOR. And then when they when I watched the Clone Wars episode, it's like, holy shit, that's Ilum. Uh, but the the most recent, as I'm playing through Mass Effect, there's a quest where there's monkeys that st- stole the data pad and you have, yes. to, you have to search the monkeys just uh-huh. like you do on Rishi. Like, oh, I get this joke now. This is amazing. So yeah. uh, I'm, I'm branching out and I, I love it. I love it. I'm delighted. That's cool. That's great. Well, my, one of my favorite games is mass effect two. Um, All right. I love okay. that story. So uh-huh. it was really hard for me to go back to mass effect one because the graphics are so bad. Well, it's not that it's so bad. The, the controls aren't intuitive. It it's, was, it's it was the first one, right? It was clunky. So, yeah. And it, there's, it, there's definitely things that I, I'm spoiled to, you know, in SWOTOR or other MMOs, like, you know, tab targeting or having okay. a mini map that shows terrain or being able to jump, like all those things. Oh, yeah, the no jumping is terrible. Terrible. I, think, I think you can jump in Mass Effect 2. No, you leap over you like leap over stuff, stuff. objects. Or like, her, yeah, her yeah you like can duck and cover. Um, Stop I, shoot. Yeah, exactly. I think um, on Mass Effect stuff, uh, I just had a brain fart in the middle. Of the I can I can talk about Mass Effect for days. We should do a Mass Effect episode. What's that? Uh, what's the girl's name in Mass Effect? Ashley or oh. Tally? Huh? Or oh, I love Tally. Tally, yeah. Tally, her and her like weird voice with her, her like made her mask. Yeah. yeah, her mask, and she's kind of got that Russian accent. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's my companion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. does it? We love you. <laughs> anyway, so, so oh, what I was going to say was Mass Effect Two is my favorite of the trilogy. I think it's better than three, even. Yeah, I, I, I think was... the, the gameplay combined with the storyline, um, it, it, it was my favorite for sure. But anyways, uh, back at the ranch. Zen, uh, what have you been up to in the video gaming world for the past couple of weeks? Yeah, well, um, you know, I was uh, getting into the OSIS uh, gear grind a little bit. and A uh, little? A little? Yeah, we just saw the picture. Just this evening, I hit full 258 for my, uh, for my Sage, which is a... Which is, you know, just like, you know, the fun of meeting a challenge. So it's, it's, I had things planned out from before it dropped to some extent and then, you know, adjusted my plans a little bit. That's uh, crazy. But basically, you know, I didn't do any master mode ops and I didn't buy anything off the GTN. So it's all just uh, masterwork crystals. Wow. But I had uh, four sages that I was playing through. And the key was to get one of them with, um either four left side pieces or uh three left side pieces and uh 19 masterwork crystals so i could upgrade them all yep. and then the, and then the other ones were like um getting gear and putting it into legacy and transferring it to that character that was wow, a, wow. and um yeah so it's now, a lot of work now I'm wait, to, wait when did it come out how many weeks ago uh this is the fifth week Five weeks, you got wow. all 258. Wow, that's crazy. Not even 252, 258. Yeah, so I have, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's low. Right. 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 So I uh, I think I have two pieces of 252. You know what I have? <laughs> but I did craft some invasion forces. A lot of them. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. So, all right, so there's, you have these, um, invasion forces and you can craft them and it gets conquest points and you can do one a day mm-hmm. so a while ago then showed me how to do it do it and i was just like yeah whatever it was midnight and then he calls me out on max and seamless podcast he can't call <laughs> me out and not expect me not to react so this last past week i think i did three of them because it was at the end of the week yep but then i made a mistake and i just craft two and i didn't get credit for the second one then I didn't have any materials, and then I didn't sign into the game. And oh, okay. by the time I signed in again, that one that I crafted the last time didn't count for this week. Oh, I'm just an idiot. I, but I'm new to the crafting game. Yeah. Well, well, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Good yeah. that good that you did that. You know, you undertook that supremely arduous task for the guild. You know. Yeah. You really, yeah. sacrifice for the guild there. Well, I failed because you guys won question. I was like three thousand. Conquest points from getting the title. Oh, no. You didn't have any characters make their goal? No, I was 3,000 points short because of my... Uh, I, I just got busy with the family life. and 
building the he shed and I failed. So I, I missed, I missed it. Can we give, um, Man. before we move into me, my wait, stuff or your stuff? Wait, what? I, I got some questions here. <laughs> Sorry. I so, said he shed and I got wait, excited. So in your notes, it says you're thinking about BF2. Yeah, because I heard you guys talking about it last last week or the week before. It's yeah, one really of good. It's pretty sweet. I'm not like I just played the story. And suppose... If you could get a cheap, which I think you probably can now, like even just the story was pretty sweet. The graphics are amazing. Yeah, that makes and it worth it. Believe it or not, I'm not a big f- like flying fan. Yeah, like I don't like flying things, and you know. We'll get into what the mega event is this year because, I mean, this month. So we're doing the whole, like, GSF flying thing. I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah. You know, back in the day in the arcades, what was that called? Um, not Galaga. Oh, shit. No, not Galaga. <laughs> Galaga. <laughs> How did I end up next to this guy? Really? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. No, you, were, you went into, like, this, like. It was like a dome, and you were in a TIE fighter, but I forget what it was called. Oh, yeah. In the arcades back in the day. Yeah, that was, that Anybody? was cool. You guys know what that was? I don't um, remember that one. The, I remember a X-Wing one. Where yeah, you the original that. Star Wars game, you did the trench run in an yeah. X-Wing. And it was right. a wire. Oh, maybe it was the X-Wing. Well, I don't know. That was the, that was it for me. I like came out of there, and I was like, mm, like ready to throw, to throw up. up. And I was like, no, this is oh, not The me. one where you're in a, in a dome is called the Battle Pod. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they, the it's like pod. all encompassing had a big old screen on it, and you you could fly a bunch of different ships depending on which mission you did. Right, that thing is dope. Yeah. So the um, so Zen, seriously, I think you can get Battlefront two for like thirteen bucks on Origin, or if you play on a PlayStation or a um, Xbox or whatever Xbox, you can get it. I mean, I bet you could go to like a New York City GameStop and still get it for five bucks. Yeah. Well, it might be seven fifty because it's New York City. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you go out to a diner, it's like $25 for two eggs, bacon, and sausage, and home fries. Yeah. Yeah. It's expensive. Though. It is expensive. Anyways, what else have you been doing, Zen? Uh, so apart from the conquesting, of course, um, last week, you know, been doing a lot of um, the love the dailies for Oasis and GSF flights for conquest points. Uh, but this week, I decided to have a little break and um, then happily... Uh, I just noticed yesterday morning someone mentioned on Twitter that um, Solo was coming to Netflix. Wait, thought, that's Solo. sweet. I didn't know that. I didn't either. That's there awesome. Yeah. So I um, yeah, good to know that you read all my tweets. By the way, that's that's great. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them, if I see them, I, I, yeah, I'm yeah. actually I, I know might have. Like. You know what? I bet I did look at it, and I probably said, "Oh, that's sweet." I just kept going. Oh, look at origin.com it's 449 wow nicely done brian yeah wow brian just won the gold star of the that day. or chuck's logged into the bad feeling podcast account and he's no, i don't around. give him the keys to this account <laughs> no no he, he chuck right now is standing in a barber shop going la 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 <laughs> and they're shaving people's face and they're singing around them in his barber shop quartet but anyway well i i'm gonna have to watch solo again yeah, I mean, it's yeah. sweet that they they should put all the big movies on there because I I noticed that um, in uh, Infinity War is on Netflix, so why yeah. can't all the Disney big movies be on Netflix? Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so Infinity War and Black Panther are on as well. Right. So I've only watched Black Panther once, and I'm halfway through my second watching of Infinity War as well. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, they've for- got they've got Solo, they've got Rogue One, and they've got um. The Last Jedi on Netflix now, so very nice. Good. Nice, yeah. It's um, we ought to ask Marshall and Will because they knew more. They know more about the publishing rights, but I wonder how that's going to work with uh, Disney bringing their own streaming service in. Are right. they going to drop all those from Netflix at once, or or how's that going to work? Yeah, yeah. So I was just are. thinking that too. I, I, they they must be, be to be getting rid of them. They definitely um, once their streaming service comes up, and I think when their streaming service is up. Their contract with TBS or TNT, whatever one, it's all up, and then all of that stuff just disappears. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering if um, Netflix was trying to downplay it or something because I, th- I was expecting to, you know, go into Netflix and have you know Solo right there in the main screen, but I scrolled up and down and left and right, and then I had to do a search for Solo, and then scroll down two pages, and I eventually wow. found it. So I'm wondering if like they're just not putting it in anybody's in anybody's, you know. 
but recommended viewing list. I can't right. imagine they're not nervous. They must be. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like a lot of their stuff. I mean, Netflix has a lot of good original content, but um, but I, is it going to be worth nine dollars or ten dollars a month if you don't have any of the Marvel stuff, none of the Disney stuff, and no Star Wars stuff? Right. Like, yeah. think about for me. I think about my kid. How much like Disney stuff she watches? Right. You know, for once Netflix. that Disney program comes out, I'm done with all TV. Yeah, because everything that Julia watches will be on there. Yeah. Right. And I'll just stream Disney 24-7. Right. And they'll be in my house. So, Zen, um, so I got a message a few days ago saying, Marcus, do you know this guy, Zen? (laughs) And I said, of course I do. And uh, she's like, well, you know, he really wants to do something awesome. And I was like, yeah, he's totally an awesome dude. Here's And I sent pictures of us. Drinking a beer. Well, I think you were drinking. I don't know. You were probably drinking vodka. Um, in a bar in New York City celebrating Star Wars. And she was like, okay, he's good. And, uh, <laughs> so it was awesome. So so what was that story about? So everyone probably knows Svotarista. And if they don't, they should. She's a great member of our community, promoter of our game, um, an all-around awesome person. Um And she's organizing a booth at Star Wars Celebration Mm -hmm. uh, for all of us to get out there and have a presence within the wider Star Wars community. Um, Markets, can you believe? 90 days and 11 hours. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. (laughs) It's going to be be wicked sweet. So Twitterist is organizing a few things, including a little like um, raffle and... uh, um, for people who are helping to pay for the prices, price of the cost of the tickets, we're um, putting uh, various streamers and uh, podcasters and YouTubers and so on, um, promoting them on the back of the ticket. And so I said that I would like working class nerds to be represented there. All right. <laughs> Virtual high, high five. five. Thank you, Zen. Thank you. Another round of applause. That's awesome. Now you guys do a great job. You know, you're you're enthusiastic, you're easygoing, you know, you have a good time. You just yeah, you just know how to have fun, sir. So. Yeah, well thanks. So uh before we get into Nick, yep. I just want to tell you, Zen, Nick's playing the Jedi class story right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm, eh, I'm a little disappointed. Okay. You know, you should have done the Sith Inquisitor. Who doesn't want to shoot lightning? Well, oh. So I strayed away from the Sith Inquisitor because the very first time, long before this podcast was even a twinkle in our eyes, uh, that was what I started to play. Because I was like, oh, that'd be cool. I want to shoot lightning. <laughs> and I it, like didn't spark my interest. Oh. So I went, I was like, you know what? I like lightsabers. I'm going to the other side of the lightsaber spectrum uh, with for my second class. Because you did a juggernaut, right? Yeah, I did a, ju- <laughs> yeah, I did a Sith juggernaut first. And now I'll go um, Jedi Guardian. Sorry, I got all jumpy. I want to know first. What? Did you beat Red Dead Redemption? Please tell me you did. Yes, I did. Didn't I say that last time? I might have said that. No, no I think no, I said you were like, oh, I'm in the epilogue and like it's taking I'm forever. sitting on my thumb and taking forever <laughs> to do anything. Dude, it that okay, so there's supposed to okay, let me back up. See, you just push the the rage button. Hold on, before I get into that though, Storm and Norman, light side, loser side. Thank you, Rack Evan. That's what I'm talking about. Up, up top. So <clears throat> Storm and Norman comes in uh, in the clutch with the uh, <laughs> that game info. It's 1983 Atari Star Wars cockpit game, the X-Wing Fighter. Well, it's... Uh, Dark Side Jedi Knight is finally riding a horse for days and days. Well, no, the... <laughs> um, oh, about Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, so the... I don't even know. How Anyways, to... Red Dead Redemption... There's six chapters. So one, like, I know, chapter one's super quick. Chapter two's medium. Chapter three's medium. Chapter four's really long. Uh, Chapter five is really quick. Six is an eternity. And I finally finished chapter six and got into the epilogue. And then uh, the epilogue was, like, probably just as long as chapter six. It was, like, 20 hours worth of gameplay. It was ridiculous. But it was epic. You go through the whole, you, you see the whole gang and everything through the whole game. Um, I did beat it. The two epilogue chapters are like 
chapter six like almost made me cry. It was, but like you're so attached to what's going on. Um, yeah. And quick spoiler alert, but in the epilogue, you get to play as John Marston as Rec Evans sang, which is sweet. That's the main character from the first game. Uh, and you, it basically shows you exactly how you start off in, um, in Red Dead Redemption one. It's you leave off right where it, where it ends. Uh, I, I love Spider-Man, but, um, Red Dead Redemption 2 is definitely my game of the year for 2018. Um, after that, I haven't done too much gaming. I've mostly been prepping for school uh, stuff. And, you know, you I go to school. I do. Uh, good old Yukon. <clears throat> U-C-O-N-N. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. But uh, anyways, so I'm, I'm prepping for that. That starts in a couple weeks. And also, I went to the gym, starting that up, which is different. Usually, I'm not the... Not that healthy. I'm going to go to the gym right now. <laughs> 12, <laughs> ounce <counts. laughs> oh, <laughs> 12 ounces at a time. Wow. That was delicious. Anyway. So, usually 16. <laughs> but, uh, oh, that's right. And I went shooting uh, yesterday with Storm and Norman, which he kindly pointed out. He got his uh, Colt M1911. Well, it's not from Colt. It's from Smith & Wesson. But it's a 1911 World War II era. Uh, well, it was made in, before World War One, but... Long story short, it's a pretty iconic pistol, and it's badass. Mm. He's got it in the the authentic forty five ACP caliber. Um, and that thing's awesome to shoot, and I might be buying my own handgun fairly short soon, which will be fun. I enjoy doing that a lot. Can you pull up a roll? A roll? A roll twenty? Oh yeah, a roll thirteen, please. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we'll do a quick oh, giveaway oh. before we move. Yeah, on. Yeah, let's do a giveaway. Who wants to do a giveaway? Let's see. In honor of Zen, in the chat room, everybody, can you write 258? If you write 258, <laughs> you're in, um, you're in the... Uh... Uh, well, we could have put Brian. We, originally, we were going to do Brian, which was going to be uh, gummy, but we decided once we saw the picture of Zen in 258 care. But, yeah, that's just so, ridiculous. I, and, I don't deserve that. <laughs> so if you write in the chat room 258... Uh, we will um we'll put you in, in the um giveaway. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, so, six, seven. Uh, it's uh, a lot of people. Yeah. Try them on in. Yeah. So while you're rolling, uh, and we're waiting for the, the, the entries to come in. Ha ha ha. Um, nice, nice try. <laughs> I'm probably um, not I'll tell you I'm probably not gonna play Red Dead, but uh I've heard it equated to an intense version of Barbie horse adventures. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's uh, uh, is that pretty accurate? You ride yes. a horse around and Pick yeah. up objects and you 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 have ride to use it. your cunning. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you do a roll for all those? I'll well, do a, I'll do a roll for eight. Thirty seconds in thirty seconds. One two three four five six seven. Oh, see, we two gotta fi- see. We don't know how to do the twitch. If we could figure out yeah. how to do the twitch, you could put a bot in this. Yeah, and just it, it'll just it do it for us, but. But we're not there yet. It's still once, once the once do the, the Twitch. <laughs> it sound like my mother in law. He does this all the time. He's like, I'm not on the Facebook. Like, it's How not do I do the internet? That. What's the Google? So I'm building a shed. I'll get into it after. I so, anyways, are you gonna roll this thing or what? I, you told me to wait 30 seconds. It's been 14. Oh, jeez. I'm impatient. I know. I'm Clearly. excited. Storm and Norman loves that. Uh, that's my dad, by the way, in the group chat. If you couldn't figure that out, <clears throat> or in the the chat, I should say. That every time he'd walk downstairs and see me playing, I was just riding a horse somewhere. For, and like, <laughs> well, he's see, like, I'm going to watch you play. And I had to ride from one end of the map to the other. And like, this game's fucking stupid. All you do is ride a horse. Nick so, rides the baloney pony. <laughs> <laughs> so is there like an optical course? You have to like lasso a barrel or some shit? Like, No, you do have to lasso stuff. Something like bad guys. Okay. If you're doing like a bounty uh, All right. or something. All right. So I'm do- there's seven people that comment. Right, perfect. So one, two, three, four. Roll it. All right. So we'll do... One through seven. And I'll do best of three. No, it's just one. All right, one. Just Ready? Two, one, go. two, three, go. Number four. So one, two, three, four. I don't know how to pronounce this, but Leitari? L-E-I-T-A-R-I. You, I, Leitari, you have, you have won yourself 450 cartel coins. What? So if you could, uh, um, our, can you type in the chat our email? Sure. If, because, uh, you know, if you want to email, Woo is right. Um. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So you will get. I will send you over some cartel coins. Thanks to Mr. Eric Musco, which sent us some pretty sweet stuff. Um. <clears throat> anyway. 
yeah uh he's yeah sent up some sweet stuff including i think these shirts maybe yeah. the, you know i ordered uh poster tubes right so yeah. i ordered poster tubes like three weeks ago yeah right to for because we did a giveaway and we asked people if they wanted physical copies or oh that's copies. right it, they were on back order and amazon never told me they finally came in so we we'll have be sending a bunch. those out shortly yeah you know the one awesome thing that i noticed did you notice that um nobody said rigged i'm shocked yeah well, it's too late now you guys can't say it now so <laughs> anyways <laughs> I literally just Googled random number generator and then put one through seven. Yeah, whatever. It can't, it's not, it's not too complicated. Moving on. So what have you been up to, Marcus? Did you do anything fun? Did you do anything boring? All right. So how's the she shed coming? I've got no update. It's not a she. You take the S off the she and it's a he shed. So I built myself. Sorry. um, I assumed the wrong pronoun. uh, So. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) Yeah. So there's the rig. Yeah. So um, (laughs) I built myself a shed. And it's 12 foot by 16 with a giant nine pitch roof. And it's in my backyard and yep. it's framed, it's roofed. And now I got to get electric in there because um, I can't wait. That's going to be my house. Yeah. At night, and that's going to be our recording studio. Yes, and sir. Yeah. So no so more exciting. in the basement. It's going to be all like wood walls and I can't wait for that to be done. So unfortunately with the new year came um, – an inevitable uh, loss of a member of the Death Star Trooper team. Mm -hmm. Um, He mentioned that he may have to go um, just time. He's tired and Sunday nights are tough because, you know, it's the end of the week and you're starting your next work week. So staying up until 11 o'clock at night is tough. Yeah. So anyway, so I want to do a big welcome to Corley for uh, joining the Death Star Troopers team. He took the spot and we started with doing hard mode ops, which I'm going to sound like a snood right now. I'm sick of doing story mode. Um, you want to challenge I'm yourself? sick of winning. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. I'm a marauder, and I should die a lot more than I do. Yeah. And it's not because the healers are playing a game. Like, let's see how low Marcus's health can go before we give him a heal. Right. Like, I want to die because I, I'm an idiot. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, and I really want the challenge, so we've made that jump. Um, so we finally had our whole new team together this week on Sunday, which was our first time back after the holidays and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we got through Nefra, of course, and then we um, got to Draxus and we were learning the fights and, you know, there's a Twitch streamer who's a Nim Raider who has been awesome. Uh, Her name's Lauren. Nim meaning nightmare mode. Yep. Okay. And uh, she's helped us a, a lot with like the mechanics and like just learning the different things because the first part of the fight there's these they're called like sub taroths or something like that Mm -hmm. saber tooths i call them but they explode so you have to group them together and because i'm melee i can't actually hit them so it's really up to the range dps and if the range dps isn't doing their job you've taken too long to kill those and you're already behind on the fight it's actually the most important part of the fight but anyway so we got through the whole thing um of course draxus enraged and uh you know we uh died but we'll get there hey amen um, dying to enrage is better than dying to mechanics absolutely um we got i think the lowest we got him was 20 uh hey that ain't bad for your first go no maybe it was it was 35 percent. it was it was right at the final phase and then he enraged and we all died but that's just a matter of we need to tighten up and do the mechanics faster. And the only way you do that is by learning the fights. And it's, it's just an awesome challenge. Uh, Rack Evan said it. He's like, man, it's fun to do it because it's hard, but man, I miss winning because you can spend all night and you get like 15 command points. Right. So thank God that Bioware screwed up the whole uh, command crate thing because it doesn't matter anymore. Anyway, right. moving on. Mark Hudson in chat says, throw your sabers. I do throw my sabers, Mark. But the, there's a long cooldown for those, you know? Yeah. Well, at least on the Juggernaut. I'm assuming we're on the same way. Yeah. Um, so I started doing the OSIS dailies again. I was really pissed off when they first came out um, because of the board. Like, put everything on one place. I just want to go there, click everything, and walk out the door. I don't want to have to click again. I don't want to have to hunt a droid to find the weekly. Right. I don't want to do the dailies again and forget to get the weekly. And when I'm done, I don't get my reward. Right. That's annoying. dumb. Um, but I started doing it. I have officially gotten two pieces of 252. 
Don't look at me, Zen. Don't look at me. It's because I was crafting invasion forces. <laughs> that's why I, it. I only have two pieces of 250 gear because I was doing invasion forces. Yeah, that's of course, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So something else that we did that we're super pumped for is we applied for our press passes for Pax East. East. Woo! Um, fingers re- crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, we sent all the information, got business cards. Let's hope. Yeah, they're coming in, I think, um, early next week. I really hope they give it to us. I don't know if they will, but we already have our passes, so. We'll be there no matter what. Yeah, but, but it would be nice to get the press passes because then we could sell our regular passes and pay for our hotel room. Yeah. Basically. Anyway, so last week I talked about how I bought a new laptop. Yep. That shit got packed up, folded back in the box, and see you later. See you later, <laughs> MSI. I love your video cards. Fuck your laptops. <laughs> And it's so aggressive. I thought it was nice, but I wasn't the one using it all the time. All right. So my laptop that I'm looking at right now is an Alienware. Yeah. The screen on an Alienware is unbelievable. I don't care what anybody says. This screen is perfect. Now, I only have an Alienware 13, and it's got a 960 in it, which is still better than the video card in my laptop. Yeah, but it's junk. It barely runs SOTOR because it's a 4K screen. So, so I said to myself, Okay, why don't I get like a 1080 in a laptop? Well, if you want a 1080 in a laptop, it's like four thousand dollars. Yeah, it's absurd. I don't know why laptops are so expensive. Why? I think it's because they because uh, they're want. small and yeah. there's not enough there's not enough space to move air to keep things cool. That's what I was going to say. So they have to run a lot more efficiently. Right. To work in a smaller space. All right. Well, physics, girl. Yeah. Physics. So, well, yeah. So the thermodynamics. Uh, so I I use two 4K screens on my desktop, which has a Titan in it. Yep. And this laptop has a 4K screen, so I'm used to it. Going back to 1080p is just terrible. I can't do it. And again, I'm going all snooty. <laughs> Spoiled. Well, no. Winning is hard. Well, no, no. Winning <laughs> well, is hard. Well, man, 1080 sucks. sucks. <laughs> well, I'm serious. If you're looking at tiny little pixels and you go to... A 1080p screen, it looks dull. It doesn't look as crisp. I'm just being honest. Yeah. yeah so I play on a um, uh, quad HD screen, which is sort of in between oh, 4K 2K. and 1080. Yeah. yeah, some people call it 2K. Um, and usually for like, the distance <laughs> that you sit away from your computer, you won't notice the pixel dif- difference between 4K and uh, quad HD. Quad HD is like 2560 by 1440. Right, right. Yeah. Well, it looks good, but I can't find a laptop. Either the laptops come with 4K or 1080p. That's it. I haven't Mm -hmm. found a 2K screen. Well, needless to say, in the next month, I'm just going to custom make an Alienware 15 and just be done because I love my Alienware. Right. Just the 13 is too small, and the video card in it is terrible. Right. If if you're putting a monitor on it, why are you married to a laptop? (laughs) I'm not putting a monitor on it. My laptops are only for... (laughs) podcasting and when i'm playing sotor like upstairs at my peninsula right. not anywhere else okay. so uh, have you ever heard of a service called shadow no it's uh, basically a ca- cloud gaming service where they give you like a dedicated processors and uh, graphics card you pay 35 dollars a month and you can then install your games in the cloud and run them there it's pretty new it's still being rolled out, but um, and they don't have cu- coverage around the whole world, or around the whole country even. You know, it's like, is it like a browser game? No, you have you install a specific client on your on your computer, but you can also so then you can also install it on a Mac or an Android phone or an iPad even. Um, I've even heard you can install it on an Android smart TV. Really? So. So basically, you'd be paying thirty-five dollars a month, and all the processing's handled in the data center. And wow! They, yeah, they're basically... that's an interesting idea. Huh. Yeah. That is really odd. Yeah. So, never well, think about it. Shadow. Yeah, Shadow. I'll Google that later. Yeah. yeah if you theory. if you have the bandwidth to pass video back and forth at a, at a high rate, then it makes sense to just run everything through a client on your local workstation. Right. That could be doable, and I'm sure they're just building vms on, on the shadow cloud so right their cost is pretty low yeah yeah not a yeah. bad idea check it out yeah so the uh the the Ra- razor has a laptop it's called the razor blade but it's like two grand but it yeah. still only has a 1060 in it i i just i don't know 
maybe I just need to buy a shitty laptop and just complain about playing yeah, games, I mean, it's, playing it's, games on uh, 1080. No, medium. Yeah. Just stick to Minecraft, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I really like my anyway. So I'm moving on. In SOTOR news. Wait, is it time for Star Wars stuff? Yeah, it's up to our news time. I need to get into character. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Is, is there a costume change? What is I, happening? Or has he got to pound some shots? What's going uh, on? I have no idea what he's doing. And, yeah. Is he getting gummy powered up? No, he's not. He's just, oh, my God. I don't I don't even know what to say. And I'm sorry, everybody. I'm not looking at the camera. This is like, I'm so used to looking at the camera on my laptop, which means I'm not used to it. I can't believe you, Nick. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is just, it, wait, just wait. I, I got nothing. I can't I'm just gonna. It. I'm just gonna. Should, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible on the um the podcast version of this. Yeah, that's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking lord! This is just. <laughs> is that a so, snuggie? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's All right. So, uh, so uh, I'm not Nick anymore. I'm now. Nick, Nick, Master Nick Kenobi. Oh, fuck. So, <laughs> in Sotor news. Oh, uh, oh, fuck. Hang on, I gotta get some background to this. So, my sister went to Morocco. She was like, hey, uh, you know, a lot of the, the men there wear robes like this. And I couldn't, I saw this brown one. And I couldn't help but think that, like, it makes you look like Obi-Wan Kenobi. And, you know. And yeah, that was the first thought that popped into my head. So, especially with the pointy part of the hood, you know what I mean? It looks just like the Ben Kenobi robes. I got nothing. Nick, it's, I got nothing. it's, it's striped. <laughs> I know. It's not the same. It's like uh, what Obi Wan Kenobi would wear to bed or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, whatever. I thought it was fun. So, <laughs> that, I'm like, hey, we're going to be you know, talking about SOTOR stuff. I'll, I'll bring it over for the podcast. I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> it's just fun. That's great. Well, what could you possibly add to that? <laughs> I have nothing in SOTOR news. <laughs> I need <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I uh, eat some Sour Patch Kids just because. Thanks, Matt Pusevich. Anyway, <laughs> um, ever since that live stream, I've been hooked on Sour Patch Kids and Swedish Fish. But anyway, moving on. In Sotor news, on January 7th, <laughs> I really wanted to play Sotor. Sorry, I'm laughing. I came downstairs, and I logged in. I got through the launcher, and there was no goddamn server list. Oh, I know. And that it was Monday, so I knew there was a Monday night ops team going to run, too. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? And so I sat there for like an hour and just kept trying to log in. And there was no server list, no third server list. And needless to say, uh, I, Nick, I can't even fucking look at you. <laughs> I'll take the hood off. No, no, no. You're okay. good. Wear it. You own it. So anyway, so they fixed that. I think it got fixed at like midnight our time. Yep. Um, and then Tuesday, we finally got our big patch, uh, 5.10A. Mm-hmm. Um Nick, do you want to go through the general uh, things that they fixed? Yeah. So in general, it says, it is no longer possible for characters to be left with no main story mission after completing Infection Point. Inflection. Sorry, Inflection Point. Fucking college kid and carpenter. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Flesh and Steel will now track kill progress for the entire operations group on R8X8 as Kilsik. Kilsik? Yes, uh, yes, I'm going with that. As intended. Uh, characters who reunite with Darkseid Jason will no longer have her influence set to one. Darkseid Jason will once again accept your companion gifts. Uh, dark Characters who acquire Darkseid Jason prior to 5.1 point, uh, sorry, 5.10a will have her influence rating restored to their pre-5.10 values. Um, I think this happened, we went over some of these last time. Also, characters who reunite with Lightside Jason on Osis will no longer receive the Darkseid Jason Alliance alert. Uh, the lightsaber is equipped to Darth Malgus and Tau Idair, along with the blaster rifle equipped to Major Henri, are now bind on pickup as intended, and they were bind on equipped before. Wait a minute. I can get Malgus's lightsabers? I guess. Somebody told me I should go at, to Celebration as Darth Malgus. You should. I would, I've always wanted to do some kind of cosplay. I couldn't deal with the hood, by the way. Um, it was <laughs> messing with my peripherals. <clears throat> I would love to do a cosplay of some kind, but anyways, back at the ranch. Uh, the They also fixed that the weekly Masterwork Data Crystal is now available on all days of the week, not just Tuesday. 
uh, the guild perk professional train now grants a 5% critical rate for kill uh, crew skills as intended. Players will no longer see odd, in some cases, blocking behavior such as doors improperly locking in Flashpoint and Operation Encounters. So on January 18th, uh, the AIE Guild, um, we host a monthly epic guild activity. Um, it's called Mega once a month, and we do fun things. And uh, this week, this month's edition, we're going to be doing uh, GSF. And, you know, they have their, uh, they introduced like the guild kind of guild versus guild stuff where you can kind of get into a private group and do, um, you know, PVP or GSF or anything like that. So this time we're going to try to get a bunch of group together to do GSF and fly around. What's so funny? The chat. Chat. Oh. <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? You're cosplaying as a Jedi road sign right now. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's Please good. Please continue. I was trying not to interrupt you. No, no, no. It's fine. So it, either way, so that's January 18th. It's a Saturday night. We It's actually eight days from now. Um, and come play with us. You do not need to be in the AIE Guild to do it. Come crash into asteroids with me, and Zen shoots us right before we hit the asteroids. <laughs> so um if all this sounds fun to you go to aie-guild.org get our discord information and jump into the sotor channel and ask for a guild invite an officer would love to get you in the game especially zen <laughs> zen's really good at inviting so just at zen and he will find a way to get you into our guild so remember how i was pumping up pumping up dent i i i had no idea how good zen was at inviting people into the guild yes so like if the, if dense the masterson of guild the masterson invites, of, of guild invites zen's like he t- brings you to zen as he's inviting you into the guild exactly zen and tranquility yeah zen and tranquility <laughs> um so either way we would love to play star wars the old republic with you nick you want to take a break sure we'll be right back And we're back. All right. Do you want to do anything giveaway? Else? Yeah. Do a giveaway? Yes. All right. What's a good code word? Hmm. Code word. Oh. I got it. Ready? It's it's long, so everybody listen. The code sentence is Brian needs to do a podcast. Okay. That's Brian. Cold. Brian <laughs> needs to do, to do a, a podcast. podcast. <laughs> you want to win. Type in the chat. Brian needs to do a podcast on the front roadside. Right. Would have been good and, and we only say this because we miss him so much. Right. Like I miss listening to him. And I, you know, it's funny is I always end up being in the shop when they start to record. Yep. So I'll go in the chat room for like five minutes and watch it on Twitch. And Brian's like dancing <laughs> in front of the mic, like getting pumped up. And he doesn't sit. So and he's like, "Fuck yeah, let's do this." And he's like it's, all right, yeah. revved up, ready to go. Right. So. um if you've already won, you're uh, null and void from this one. Sorry. Brian needs to, what about Chuck? <laughs> well, Chuck does too. <laughs> uh, you know, Chuck does too, but he's not here right now. Right. So we can't, you know. I'll tag him on Twitter and give him a thumbs down. Right. So um, <laughs> Brian needs to do a podcast is the code word, and you're going to sell- win yourself something awesome. And then everybody wins. And everybody no, wins. Everybody oh, loses when I do no, a podcast. No, see, <laughs> see, you think that, but it's actually really good to listen to you guys banter. It, your bantering makes me smile. Oh, so that's all I that's all I wanted. That's all I want out of life. The podcast needs to do, do a Brian. Brian. Smart <laughs> yeah. you know, I'll count it. All right. So in you know 30 seconds, which I'll probably call the draw. Are we doing 30 14. seconds or are we doing a Greek 30 seconds? No, we'll do 30 seconds. Right. And we'll do another podcast. So today we're going to be discussing uh, our 2019 predictions for SOTOR and uh, any games that we're looking forward to, and especially movies, because we all know there's a big movie coming out. There's several. And, and you know, Zen, I'm sure, is very opinionated on this one. And I'm sure Brian is very opinionated on this one. I know I am. Yeah. The so, Avengers movie? Yeah, well, that, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Yes. I'm really looking forward to that too. And I, Captain, I have, yeah, there's a bunch. No, I'm not looking. Hey, Captain Marvel. 
Well, well, hang on. Before we get into that, it's time to do the giveaway. All right. So how many people? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven again. That works for me. Magic seven. All right. In three, two, one, go. Number six. So that would be Mark Mark Hudson. Hudson. Congratulations. You You have won won a a brand new pet. What? It's an MA3R droid pet code or something like that. Oh, nice. Courtesy of Eric Musco. Uh, So I've decided to, uh, you know, take it upon myself to take as much from uh, them as possible. And uh, he sent me a bunch of codes. So I loved. Wait a minute. What do you mean, Mark? Wait a minute, Mark. You can't say it's rigged. You won. (laughs) You won. Um, So. Uh, Nick will type in our email again yep. in the chat, and I will get that pet code to you shortly. Probably after the show. Well, yeah, after the show when I'm falling asleep on the couch behind us. And while Nick is doing his portion of the show stuff. The editing. So um, just real quick, uh, we'll dive into it after. Um, what are you guys looking forward to? What's your, what are you most excited for for 2019? Brian? Uh, I don't know. What am I most excited for in in game? In just generally, just generally, like like nerdy in gaming. Yeah, nerdy gaming. Like what movie? What are you most looking forward to in 2019? When you think, okay, it's 2019. I'm looking forward to this. Like one thing. Holy crap! Uh, well, I am looking forward to more Sotor stuff. Obviously, um. There's a there's a new Lair boss coming out. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see if how they uh develop the uh again like i was talking about the saboteur storylines so i'm i'm interested to see what uh swotor brings us in 2019 um aside from that i'm really looking forward to like wrapping up the avengers story wrapping up game of thrones i've been binging on that uh for the past couple of months uh, i'm looking to wrap up a lot of these storylines that have been years in the making so there's a lot of good shows killing eve is coming again so there's uh just a lot of good entertainment stuff coming my way. Yeah. Is there going to be another South by Sotor? Yes, there is. is. Coming in March. South by Sotor. Thank you, Scrubland and Chad, for that yeah. recommendation. Yeah, that's uh, Boomba. Uh, Zen, what about you? What are you most looking forward to in 2019? Well, in chronological order, I'm going to say Star Wars Celebration <laughs> in 90 days' time. Um, Sotor 6.0 in about... Let me see, about 200 days' time. I'm Whoa. August or so. got insider info. Whoa. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Well, you know, um, obviously Bioware is working on this other game, whatever it's called, and that's yeah, releasing at some stage. Um, February 22nd. I reckon um, it's going to last a little while. It's going to be pretty busy, and then they'll have, you know, time to dedicate to other things. Um, so I'm thinking about August, maybe September, something like that. Hmm. About three months after, three months after um, celebration, when they're going to drop the trailer. So do you say trailer? Do you say August or September release? I'll, I'll go for September. All right, September, yeah. Great. Yeah, end of summer kind of thing, and then um, of course, episode nine is coming. I'm looking forward to. That being wrapped up, um, Lando Calrissian's going to be back. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how they handle um, Carrie Fisher not being available to right. fulfill her role. I'm ready to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And I was thinking about this the other day. We have to see Ray building her new la- lightsaber. It's a, right. It's like the most epic Jedi thing to do on the road to becoming a Jedi Knight and we've never seen it in a movie yet. Right. Yeah. I, I really hope we see that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's save all of our, uh, extra episode, uh, episode nine stuff. Cause I, I got so much to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. We can, we can table that. What about you, Nick? Uh, well, f- for in a not in non gaming stuff, uh, I'm looking forward to graduating in May. Fucking finally, <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me I'm the one taking the classes. <laughs> I, you know, so so I told Nick four years ago that when he finally graduates from college, we're just gonna get shit wasted because yeah. it's such a celebration thing. And you haven't had a drop since. 
Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, after after I graduate, I'm still gonna have to take more a couple more classes and then apply to PA school. So I'll, I'm not done with school stuff, right? But it'll be nice to have a piece of paper to you know, right? Show that I've done something so far. Sure. Uh, in you know, nerdy or gaming stuff or whatever. I'm the thing I'm like that sticks out to me the most. Even I don't know about more so than episode nine or um you know the last Avengers movie is season eight of in the final season of Game of Thrones. I'm really pumped to see how they end that because it's going to be six ninety minute episodes. Right. So the yeah. HBO figured it out. Right. They're like, okay, we need to pay every single um actor like four million dollars per episode. So we'll just make every episode a movie. movie. Right. And now, hey suck it up people you got a lot of lines to do and you're only getting paid this right they're genius right yeah, but game of thrones is dumb i love game of thrones that's what that's probably one of my favorite pieces of like media consumption right that i could have what were you gonna say brian i think you chimed in no i'm i'm totally on board with the game of thrones and marcus is an idiot if he doesn't enjoy it that's i so, agree dude you're wrong zombies <laughs> dragons fucking full frontal i mean beheadings it's amazing yeah Softcore porn, it's great. But it's got it's got everything covered. What more could you want? It's 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 an awesome, and it's like it actually an awesome show. You know me and my lore stuff. I, I love all the lore behind it. Oh, uh, in in newsflash, newsflash. Uh, AIE just leveled up to level seven and our guild level. Nice. Whoop, whoop. Thank, you. Thank you, Ruben De Silva, for the uh, the. It's Rube. Sorry. Thank you, Rube. For the for the Rube. for the breaking news update, decent. Anyway, um, so for me, what stands out to me the most right now um, is six So everybody has talked about what they think six is, and that's what we're gonna go into next. Because I'm gonna, you know, Zen plays the game. I mean, fuck, he's two fifty eight already. He plays the game, a loves lot. the game a lot. <laughs> He loves yeah. the game. If you're 258 already, you love the game, right? There's no question of that. Yeah. And Brian is so um, passionate about the game and not afraid to speak his mind. So we have probably the two most opinionated people when it comes to this on the show. So it's a perfect time to ask. Um, really, the other thing I'm looking forward to is episode nine in the Avengers movie. Mm-hmm. You know, Iron Man is my favorite character, and I think this is the one where Tony Stark goes away. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, you know, what's his name? Um, Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah, this is the uh, this is it for him. Uh, yeah, I would say I would say so. I'd say, I think he fades out. Like, there's something happens where, to, you know, that version of Tony Stark is right. done. And then I would say probably um, Chris Evans as Captain America is going to be done, too, if I had to right. guess. But anyways, we can get into that when we get into the movie-specific section. Right. So, Brian. That's me. What is your 6.0? What is my wish list or what's my prediction? What is your prediction that's going to be in 6.0? Um, Content-wise, I think we're going to... We're going to have the two storylines again. Uh, so an imp storyline and a pub storyline, like we've already been branching off. Uh, level cap, you know, plus five levels, new abilities, at least two flashpoints similar that'll be tied into the story, similar like, like we had in Shadow of Revan. Uh, and then I would predict some other just kind of gameplay tweaks. Um, you know, some more stuff for guilds or outfit designer, or maybe a new species, some other one of those other tent poles of just like general gameplay stuff. So content I expect we'll get a couple hours uh on each storyline and yeah, a couple flashpoints and probably another layer boss and uh like I said, five levels and some new abilities. All right. That's my prediction. Zen, what do you think will be in six point oh? Yeah, likewise similar stuff. Um I think after the um, uh, how the communities reacted, they're probably going to release an operation, a full operation, at the time of 6.0. Um, you know, or at least at least more than just one one boss. Um, apart from that, I think uh, you know they're going to see a mix of planets. We've seen a lot of new planets recently, so I wouldn't mind seeing another planet from canon Star Wars, like maybe Kashyyyk, Dagobah, something mm. like that. I don't know. 
Um, so I think that they could go in that, that direction. All right. Um, and then, yeah, I always think feel like they, they're trying different things. You know, there's going to be something that we haven't seen, like, you know, maybe a mini game or might maybe they'll, you know, could release a mobile client or something. I don't know. Just something a little bit unexpected, I think, is going to be part of it. All right. Yeah. That'd be cool. If you're looking at me for my input, I'm not really sure what to expect from 6.0 because I don't really know what to expect. I don't have a lot of experience with expansions coming out. All right. You so know? I think we're going to get story, obviously. I'm thinking we're going to go to two new planets, whether they're new planets, like new planets. We're going to go visit an old planet in the middle. We're going to get two flashpoints. Mm -hmm. We're going to get one operation and a layer boss. And then that's 6.0 because I think, you know, I think it's so important for the, this is the year for SOTOR in my opinion. And going with that, if you guys love SOTOR, you know, when Anthem comes out, I suggest you buy it, even if you don't play it. Spend the sixty dollars and support Bioware because when Anthem does well, Sotor does well. Just tuck that in the back of your mind. You, everybody needs Anthem to kick ass in order for Sotor to rock longer. So, note to self. Right. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, is Pazak a family? Uh, I sorry, Pazak. Yeah. It's like a card Pazak. game. Yeah. Oh, got it. You know, um, I just think they're going to come out with a Shadow of Revan style um, expansion because this is this is the big one for me, right? In my opinion, from everything that I've said, and you know, I I just think and but I don't think we're getting it until December next year. What December twenty twenty? Uh, December nineteen. Yeah, I'm this year, technically. I'm on board with that timeline too. I think it's gonna drop probably right before episode nine. So first week of December, Thanksgiving ish. Yep. I think, yeah. I'd say that. Yeah, Thanksgiving early December for sure. Mm -hmm. I think there's gonna be they're gonna be all their resources will be in Anthem. Because once that game comes out, all the bugs happen, everything's gonna happen, and uh, you know, that's the way it is. Well, so all the all the devs are, are on Anthem. You know, I they we they kind of joke about you know oh since Anthem is a thing Swotor doesn't have any more devs but there's some accuracy there because like at last year's South by Swotor we had a bunch of uh, Bioware devs and it was yeah I did this cool thing for Swotor but now I'm doing Anthem I did this cool thing for Swotor and now I'm doing Anthem like right. our our old buddy Ben Irving who brought us <laughs> CXP is right. uh, one of the main dudes on Anthem right now so he is he is the lead producer. Yeah. So it's uh but to your point, if it's all the same Bioware family, right? So if, right. if Anthem does well, those devs stay employed and there's no reason why they couldn't go back to do a project on Swotor. So that's uh it is all one family. Right. That's a good point. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that before you and said that. In the chat room, Mark said one year of five point ten. No, I don't think so. I think um I think around celebration we're gonna get some more story content. Um, I would say so. That's too. going to lead into the trailer at celebration that Zen said, because I, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Because um, that's you know, uh, where I don't know what interview Musco was on. I don't know if it was Brian's or maybe in their in their or, Bube or ours, where Musco said they were really disappointed in um, having to what they had to what show they last had last year yeah at, at the last celebration two years ago yeah. it was like the weakest celebration ever and they said they would never do that again right so i think that's i think zen's right where we are going to get a trailer and something of the sort yeah it's some kind of story content sneak peek or something like right. that for at, at star wars celebration so um, one thing i would say about your timeline is that there's another star wars game coming out probably late next year called jedi Fallen Order uh, from EA. And I just know that they yeah. probably want to spread them out a little bit. I, I don't think resp I don't think it's going to come out then. You don't think I so? Don't, no, because we haven't even seen any screenshots of the game yet. I was going to say, I, did, I hadn't even heard of it. But I'm not so tied into yeah. these sorts of things as you folks are. But it's, I, what is the story? It's a Padawan from right after Revenge of the Sith? I'm not sure. Not really sure. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's going to be an action, sing, 
single player action game or action RPG. Sounds yeah, cool. I don't under, you know, I don't really know. There just hasn't been a whole lot of press on it. I thought it was at least a year away from now. Yeah. Well, either way, I really think December's our time because the last time a Star Wars movie come out, um, came out, you know, they did something in SOTOR and, you know, hopefully they can do some marketing to help pump it up. Yeah, pump. Pump, pump it up. Pump so do you think they'd still make the announcement for 6.0 at Celebration if they're not going to release until December? Yes, I think they have to. Yeah, I mean... That's where you're going to, you're going to have your biggest audience. Yeah. I, I think so, too, because the last time they did um, a big announce at Celebration was Coffee when they put the Blur trailer out. Or no, that was at E3, and that was uh, June for a, a December release? Right. It was coffee October and Kotet was December. Well, anyway, it's they go about four to six months between announcement and, and release. Right. So. Yeah. So my last uh, thing is Nick. Nick's been foaming because he wanted to talk about this uh, <laughs> oh, and yeah. find out what everybody thinks, because there's so much drama about the new Star Wars. Yeah. So what do you what did you want to say? Oh, before we move on to Star Wars? No, yeah. Well, uh, so I, I, in the sake of time, uh, I wanted to just give a quick plug again to the Dragon Ball Super movie that's getting released in the U.S. Oh, my God. It's Dragon Ball Super Brawly, <laughs> which I'm seeing next Wednesday with my buddy Joey and uh, our, our buddy Ethan. Uh, shout out to those guys for wah, 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 powering <laughs> up. Anyway, so I'm excited about it, and I think it's going to be an awesome movie. And I think the anime is really cool. I don't like any other anime, only that one, uh, just because I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. But it's pretty epic, and I'm pumped about the movie because usually the movies have way better um, animation than than the regular show does. So I'm going to ask you because you didn't have to a- answer the Sotor question. Yep. What? Are you looking forward to an episode nine or what are you scared of? Or how do you think it's going to be? So I'm a, well, I guess I'm afraid of, of them just fucking it up more in episode nine. So in the last Jedi, I'm trying to think of some of the stuff I didn't like. I didn't like a lot of the, I guess how much of like how not involved Luke was until the end and stuff like that. Um, I think what Zen said about Ray building her lightsaber would be really cool. I want to see that. I want to see Ray take a more prominent role in, um, you know, her force wielding abilities and like start, I don't know, taking a leadership position in like the rebellion. I think that would be pretty cool to see. And maybe like Kylo Ren come towards the middle a little bit more or something like that. All right. What do you think? Brian? Um, I'll say... What I definitely do not want to see is just a massive, I guess, course correction away from the Ryan Johnson movie. So I want them to be able to continue sort of the tone that uh, because the Ryan Johnson movie does stem pretty naturally from uh, from Force Awakens. Right. You know, as as you develop Poe and Finn and and kind of we learn more about their characters in Last Jedi. I don't want to see a reversal of that to where. Uh, all of a sudden they change the characters and stuff. That's, that's most important to me. Um, I really don't need to see a Kylo Ren redemption arc. I'm sure it's probably incoming because of just the nature of star Wars and every, every villain gets redeemed at some point. Um, but I don't necessarily need to see that, but really I do want to see, uh, just, I want to see a continuation of the Ryan Johnson development that he made to the characters and i don't want to see i don't want to see it undone or changed so i want ray to be confused and not know what the hell she's doing and feel abandoned and left out now that luke's gone i want poe to feel like he's uh, got his comeuppance and he got a kick in the nuts when leia called him out and, and his plans all went backwards like i want to see those character that those character arcs developed more <laughs> And of course, I want to see ship load up and lightsabers and all that stuff too. But, um, but the, that's my real, that's my real uh, wish list or wish not to see uh, with episode nine. All right, Zen, what do you think about episode nine coming? Yeah, just um, you know, I I don't want uh, Kylo Ren to have a redemption arc because we've already seen that in uh, Return of the Jedi. You know, if, right. if he comes back to the life. I mean, the, the, my biggest criticism of uh, The Force Awakens is was 
too much like A New Hope, the original one. And it's good to see something different, you know. Those were great movies, and if you want to see that movie, go and watch it. You know, if you right. if you want to see um, Return of the Jedi, go and watch Return of the Jedi. You need to see something you know, a little bit different. I don't know what they're going to do in terms of, you know, how they're going to end it. Are they going to, like, wrap everything up? Or are they going to, like, leave it open for another trilogy down the line? I don't know how it's going to all end. Um, we got to see Luke as a Force ghost. Yes, I would say that's a grumpy old Force ghost, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but will he be a CGI young Luke, or would he be an old Luke? You know, <laughs> that's a good question. He'll be old Luke. I would say probably old Luke because he's still like like alive. Mark Hamill's still yeah. alive. So yeah. why not just you know use him? Yep. Yeah. By the the, the Force ghost G- CGI filter, right? We yeah. Get a, maybe a, a convention of all the Force ghosts. We can have an Anakin, Yoda. Obi Wan yeah, and uh, Luke all together. I, I will, will it be Ewan, Ewan McGregor or Sir? Oh, the guy that's going to be hard just, to cast at this point. Right. <laughs> away. right. I um probably Ewan McGregor if I had to guess. I'd like to change my answer. Not hearing you guys. So uh, I, what I want to see, I I think I I agree with you. I don't really want to see Kylo Ren come back to the like we've seen it done before. What we have not seen done before at least too much. We saw a little bit of uh, it from Luke in the original trilogy, but I want to see like a, a, a sort of a gray, like right straight down the middle um, force user, like not using both light and dark side. Like maybe Ray could sort of fill into that slide into that role. Cause she got sort of tempted by that, like dark side energy area underneath that Island potentially. So maybe she could sort of split the difference and use a little bit of dark, a little bit of light and just, you know, Say screw. That's kind of like what. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where Luke is going? Like, hey, it's all the Force. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I'd love to see that. It's time for the Jedi to end. You know, so enough of the uh, you know the Jedi code and whatnot. Just right. use the Force. Don't be an asshole. Like <laughs> that's the new code. <laughs> I think that would be cool. So if Kylo doesn't come back to the light, that's not a big deal. But may, I I think it would be cool to see Ray use a little bit of the dark and be able to balance the two <laughs> and not you know become evil just because she dabbles in the dark side a little bit or something right. like that. All right. You ready? Yeah. The Empire, well, the First Order is going to win. Okay. I think I think it's time for the it's time for the bad to win. I think the movies are dark. I think Ryan Johnson I, nothing is ever going to bring me back to when I was a kid seeing Darth Maul for the first time. Yes, I still love the Phantom Menace. I think those are the, that's one of the but, best fight scenes ever. Right, but I still like Obi-Wan jumping down and going, hello there. You yeah. know, and I love, obviously, the original trilogy. But where this is going, I feel like everything is so dark, it has to end with Rey turning dark. And I'm a light side is the right side guy. Yeah. I just... And I know she'll never turn because she's like the the hero. hero yeah. But I would like to see the first order win, or somehow, some way, maybe maybe the balance of the forces. Ray becomes Kylo Ren's apprentice, or something like that. I don't know. I just, I, I really, Disney fucked up for me because J.J. Abrams should have had the helm. He should have had the trilogy. Ryan Johnson, do your own. Like and. I don't know why they did it. That's my bitch. But, yeah, why they had it split up like that. Yeah, it's stupid. It was one vision, right. and I could see where JJ's vision was going. Right, and then he sort of and then well, and then Ryan Johnson that. just took it and crinkled it up in a ball and threw it away. And we're not rehashing the bad. I'm just saying that you know something drastic has to happen for it to end, and the Skywalker saga has to end, and all that. And I think how you do that is the Empire succeeds. And then there's just like, and then end and credits. And then there's, you know, um, it's, you know, to the next series, like and it's totally in the rebellion different. is running again, going, we, we can't stop this. I can't believe this happened. And boom, it's over. So See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing like the, uh, the resistance, you know, they defeat the first order, but then, you know, kind of like a Peter and the wolf thing where they become 
you know, they have to, you know, make sure they stamp out all the remnants of the first order. So they become sort of what they hate. Right. And so Ray is trying to, you know, enforce, you know, the resistance, the new M- rules of the resistance or whatever. And she becomes like an enforcer and is forced with all these forced to make all these decisions to, you know, light and dark decisions because she's there having to enforce, you know, the resistance order and, and they become the new, the, the second order, they become the new empire. Right. But it, it's born out of, you know, trying to free people, but they get so caught up in it. I'd, I'd like to see something like that where they start off with noble intentions, but uh, they get carried away with it. Yeah, for sure. That would be cool too. Yep. Yeah, and maybe I I can't see it going too dark though. Remember, this no, is, it a, is still Disney. <laughs> this is a, a Disney movie, and I've got a lot of everybody dies in Rogue One. That's true. I don't think uh, I don't think Rogue One was aimed at the kids as much. Right, that's true. Still a Disney movie. Yeah, kids are gonna watch Rogue One because it has Scarif and the Death Star and, and Star Wars and Shore Troopers. I mean, come on, sure, yeah. Either way, it's um, troopers. Shore troopers. They're they're of all of the new stormtroopers. The shore troopers are my favorite from Rogue One. Well, no, just in general. Like I, I don't really like how the first order troopers look. Yeah, I like the traditional stormtrooper. Yeah, you know, but the shore troopers are beautiful in every way. All right. Anyway, uh, thanks guys so much. Chat room. Uh. I want to thank everybody for popping in through this whole thing and participating. Thank you very much. Big thanks to Zen and Brian because, you know, we love it when people give us charity to come on our show. And, uh, and um, so I, and, I hope to, I, I hope to say we ran it a little better right. than episode 10. And, uh, <laughs> rawr. uh, and as a parting gift, for everybody in the chat room, we're going to do one more giveaway. All right. This time the uh, code word is going to be, I don't know. I have no idea. What do you mean? Somebody come up with a word, please. Let's go with, um, oh, what did Scrub say? Jedi, not prison robe. No. Road sign. Road sign. Jedi, <laughs> let's go with that. We'll go. All right. The code word is Jedi Road Sign. J E D I space R O A D S I G N. Type that into the chat if you want in on this giveaway. Jedi Road Sign. Jedi Road Sign. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Scrumble Chat is the first in line. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the so, price is. Marcus is in charge of those. Yeah. I'm not going to tell everybody until they win. Right. So, so if, if you want to win, Type in Jedi Road Sign. Jedi Road Sign, and you have a chance to win. If you've already won, then you can't win again. Right. Sorry, Mark, Mark Hudson and, uh, oh, shit, Lovitra. La, <laughs> I've, I've entirely forgot the yeah, username. Yeah, whatever. I can scroll back up. They're already a winner, so it doesn't matter. Right. Latari. Latari, that's it. They're probably gone. They're like, oh, we won. We're, we're out We here. won. We're out. Dude yeah, says, like, sent the email. <laughs> <laughs> so, and... Just so you guys know that, you know, I'm apologizing to Brian's raid team because they're waiting patiently for him to finish this. <laughs> they're like, Marcus needs to shut, shut up. up. All right. So yeah. we have one, two, three, four. You have 10 seconds to write it again. Jedi road sign. Well, don't forget. Let's give him like 30. No. Because, yeah, no, because there's, a, raid. there's an edit. Or a uh, delay. Delay, yeah. From when we're saying this. See, I just bought all well, this I'll extra time. So Jedi road sign. Oh, there's only four of them. That's okay. I, I don't care. They're going to win something big. Your odds are looking good. Yes, you fuck. That's 25%. 25%. All right. I'll do one in four. <clears throat> so scroll when sheds one. It just right in the order you commented. All right. Drum roll, please. That was the worst drum roll. <laughs> are you kidding? All right. I'll click it. I'm terrible. With that. <laughs> terrible. Oh, we got a fifth. Okay. All right. All right. We're we going to do it. That was your delay. Three, See? two, one. Number four. So Axa Guerra? <laughs> Alex Axa... Guerrera. <laughs> Alex Guerrera. No, Axa Guerra. Congratulations. You won a 30 day subcode. Woo! Woo! Well, that's awesome because he's my raid leader. So, <laughs> 30 subcode. Nice. Yeah. He... Yeah, he's our he's our ringer as we go through hard modes. <laughs> oh, all right. So Alex Guerrera, you uh you want a 30-day subcode? Nick will type in 
Um, <coughs> sorry, guys, I'm sick. I pounded a nice coffee, so I'm, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, email uh, us at the Working Class Nerds, and we will get you that subcode probably tomorrow, I'm just saying, because we got to edit this show and everything. Edit? Uh, it, it's not fucking rigged. <laughs> this is why this is why we need the bot on the twitch because if we get the twitch the rig bot yeah rig the rig bot yeah we could just do victory i like that well i hope you guys get victory in your hard mode up tonight because brian said he'll stay up until like four in the morning tonight to win yeah so. we're pulling all nighters till we get through it yep i recommend coffee Yep, lots of it. Guys, thank you so much. Uh chat room thanks really, again. Really appreciate uh you guys coming. To the yep, thanks. thanks for having me, man. Yeah, thanks, Bioware, for the awesome swag. You can't see his because he's wearing his. I got on. it. I can pull it up. Oh, and thanks, Ari, for the uh, the Moroccan robe that looks vaguely she like. She doesn't uh, listen to our show. Well, what whatever. You're showing yeah. off your nipple there, dude. <laughs> I'm not not showing off my nipple there. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. 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 What are you guys talking about in here? Find out next episode of. Working Class Nerds.